from Fairmont, the very next race was the ninth race, and invitational, the post positions were assigned. The eight horses, the favorite was number eight, Kelly Tuckman Cole, and as you remember, Kelly Tuckman Cole beat sometime LaBelle last week, and number seven, Sunrise Columbus, was the next choice. Let's pick up the action from Fairmont. We're past the half, 57 and two fifth seconds. We have a chance for a new track record tonight. It's Merger's cousin in front by a length and a quarter. Kelly Technicole is racing second a length. Castle's Glory along the inside now, third ahead. Half nip moves up fourth a length. Sameness on the outside now is fifth a half. Sticky two-step along the rail is sixth. Sunrise Columbus seventh and Dallas Renvey shuffled back to last. As they come to the top of the lane, Merger's cousin has it by a length. Half nip on the outside, second ahead. Kelly Technicole tucked in along the rail now, third a length. Sameness is racing fourth. Into the stretch, Merger's cousin has it by a length and a half. Kelly Technicole gets out and is on the go, second. Eighth of a mile to go, Merger's cousin. Kelly Technicole on the outside. Sticky two-step out in the middle of the racetrack and Castle's glory in between. Horses down to the wire. Kelly Technicole, sticky two-step. Kelly Technicole and sticky two-step. Time, 1.56 and 1.5. Well, congratulations to the number three horse, Sticky Two-Step, with Chris Lonely in the bike, getting the victory over Kelly Technico with Anthony Morgan out of the eight hole. And for third, it was Castle's Glory with Leonard Mancuso in the bike. They went the mile in 1.56 and 1, and that's a brand new track record. So the eighth race was the established track record of 157 and 1 and sticky two-step came back to beat it in 156 and 1 in the following race.